Hola niños y niñas. Hola little learners. Uh, today is our bilingual story time where we read in both English and Espanol. Y estamos aquí. We are here to read together. Call me tree. Llámame árbol. And it's a really special story because this little boy finds the uniqueness in trees. Este niño encuentra las cosas especiales de los árboles. And in turn, he finds the uniqueness in him. Y entonces él encuentra las cosas especiales de él. Yo creo que te va a gustar mucho. You're going to like it a lot. So let's not only read this book, but let's learn also a little bit about trees together. Little learners, amigos y amigas, vamos a cantar una canción. Let's sing a song, a hello, good morning song, uh, to start off our beautiful reading session. And let's go, ready? First in English. Good morning, good morning, how are you? How are you? Very well, I thank you. Very well, I thank you. How about you? How about you? It's so nice to ask back how a person is doing once they ask us how we are doing. Now let's go ahead and sing it in Spanish. Buenos dias, buenos dias, como esta, como esta, muy bien gracias, muy bien gracias, y usted, y usted. Let's read together now. Call me tree, llámame árbol, escrito por Maya Cristina González, written by Maya Cristina González. I begin within the deep, dark earth. Nasco dentro de la tierra profunda y oscura. A seed, a tree, free to be free. Una semilla, un árbol, libre para ser libre. I dream I am reaching, dreaming and reaching, reaching and dreaming. Yo sueño me extiendo, sueño y me extiendo, me extiendo y sueño. I wake up, I see sky, sky as high as a bird can fly. Me despierto, veo el cielo, el cielo tan alto, como puede volar un pájaro. I reach and I rise. Me extiendo y me elevo. Just like a tree started his life like a seed and is growing towards the sky like a tree. And what do I see with my eyes as I rise? ¿Y qué yo veo con mis ojos mientras me elevo? Trees and more and more trees, trees and trees just like me. So not only trees, but he sees children just like him. Árboles, más y más árboles, árboles y árboles iguales a mí. A tree I am, a tree I stand. Un árbol soy, de pie estoy. On a sidewalk, en la acera, on a mountain, in la montaña, by a river or a road, junto al río o al camino. Some trees reach, some trees teach, some trees stand so still. Algunos árboles me se extienden, algunos árboles enseñan, algunos árboles se quedan tan quietos. Some sing songs, some sing along. All have roots, all trees belong. Unos cantan canciones, otros se unen al coro. Todos los árboles tienen raíces, todos los árboles tienen un lugar. Call me tree because I am tall, I am strong. 
and like a tree I am free. Llámame árbol porque soy alto, soy fuerte, y como un árbol soy libre. Call me tree. Llámame árbol. Uh, did you like that story? I loved it very much. I love the way that it compares itself, children like you, to trees. There's so many different children, um, so many trees, and how it starts small as a seed, and it reaches out and starts reaching for the sky just like you are doing today. So I really love this book. Let's go ahead and learn about trees, a little bit more about them. We finished reading a book about trees. Acabamos de leer un libro de árboles y vamos a aprender más de los árboles. Today we're going to learn about the parts of a tree, en las partes del de árbol. Y aquí tengo, los árboles tienen fruta, fruit. They bear fruit. Trees bear different types of fruit. They have, of course, what's green on the, on the tree, the leaves. And that in Spanish is hojas. Hojas. Could you say that with me? Hojas, yeah. The trunk of a tree is what holds it up, right? And that is in Spanish called tronco. Can you say tronco? Very good. Over here we have a flower trees. A lot of them flower, especially if they're fruit trees. And how do you say flower in Spanish? Do you know? Probably a lot of you know. See, sí, flor, a flower, flor. There's a branch, of course, that holds up the leaves and all the, the branches, the smaller branches. That's called a rama. Rama. Could you say that? Rama. Good. And then, of course, the roots, the bottom, the one from the inside of the earth where the seed opens up, turns into roots, and then into a beautiful tree. Roots. And that is raíces. Raíces. Can you say that? Raíces. Very good. Now there are many things that trees need to be able to sustain themselves, just like us, right, when we're children, and of course as adults. One of the things that we need is sol, the sun. Yes. Another one that we need, what do you think this is? It's very simple. We have it all around us all the time. We don't see it. Air, aire. Of course, the tree needs soil or tierra to grow in. And water. How do you say that in Spanish? Agua. Los árboles necesitan agua para crecer. We also need water, right? Just like the trees do. I have something back here that I wanted to go ahead and keep till the end. And it is um, a fruit. It is one of my favorite fruits. And I'm not sure if you um, like this one, but I think you may like it. Um, it is, I'm going to give you some clues. It goes in pies, very famous American style pies. Um, worms like to go through it. Um, and uh, teachers get it as presents. And it grows on a tree. What do you think it is? It starts with an A. Ah, uh, ah, uh, do you know of a fruit that starts with an A? Apple. Did you guess apple? Yes, an apple. So I love apples and apples grow on trees too. Espero que le gustaron los libros que leímos hoy. I hope you enjoyed the story that we read today and learning a little bit about trees and the parts of the trees. And I hope you continue to keep growing and reaching for the sky just like this little boy did in this story. And, re and reaching and getting as tall, tall, tall as the tallest tree ever. See you next week for another bilingual story time. Bye, everyone.